An electrocardiogram, or ECG, is a recording of the electrical activity of the heart. It is one of the most useful non-invasive bedside investigations for the diagnosis of many cardiac-related diseases. Some common indications of an ECG include the following. In patients presenting with symptoms such as palpitations, dizziness, cyanosis, chest pain, syncope, and seizures. Symptoms or signs associated with heart disease, including tachycardia, bradycardia, hypothermia, murmurs, shock, hypotension, and hypertension. To detect recent and previous myocardial infarctions. Rheumatic heart disease. To detect arrhythmias and electrolyte imbalances. In the evaluation of metabolic disorders. In cardiopulmonary resuscitation. To facilitate the diagnosis of congenital heart diseases and during anesthetic procedures for the continuous monitoring of cardiac function. The conventional ECG machine consists of 12 leads, 6 limb leads and 6 precordial leads. There are two types of limb leads, bipolar leads 1, 2, and 3, and augmented unipolar leads, AVL, AVF, and AVR. The precordial leads include V1 to V6. The limb leads record the electrical activity in a vertical plane, and the precordial leads record the heart's electrical activity in the horizontal plane. The principle behind recording an ECG is an electromagnetic force, current, or vector, with both magnitude and direction. When a depolarization current travels towards the electrode, it gets recorded as a positive deflection, and when it moves away from the electrode, it appears as a negative deflection. So. After taking an ECG, we can compare it with the normal ECG to find out any abnormalities. Any trained medical person can conduct and obtain an ECG, including a doctor, nurse, or qualified technician, although it is interpreted by a clinician. An electrocardiogram is a safe, non-invasive, painless test with no major risks or complications. No specific preparation is required to undergo an ECG test and individuals do not have to stay overnight in the hospital.